<coughs> City, the magnificent Old Trafford, plays host to not only the biggest game in English football, but one of, if not the biggest game in the whole wide world. That match, ladies and gentlemen, or gentlemen and ladies, is Manchester United hosting Liverpool. And do you know what happens when United face Liverpool at Old Trafford? The fans turn up. Why? Because the fans cannot and will not let the players lose to Liverpool. Just look at what's happened the last two times. Let's rewind to last August. United came into the game in a horrendous run of form. What? But the atmosphere was top notch. And look at what happened next. Chance for two for Manchester United. It's two for Manchester United. And Marcus Rashford. And then we fast forwarded to two weeks ago in the FA Cup quarterfinals, once again at Old Trafford. United again came into the game in a horrendous run of form. And despite multiple setbacks, hey man, fucking hell. With the help of the crowd, just look at what happened next. And today, we're going to see that exact same outcome. I'm going for a United victory, and we now go to my mum for her predictions. By the way, it is 4am in the morning, so why am I awake at this time? Well, when it's United versus Liverpool. Who can go sleep the night before? And secondly, I'm actually fasting, so I'm having my breakfast. So for that reason, my mum's still awake. <laughs> oh, snap. She's praying, so yes, um, we'll get her predictions in the morning. So I will see you all in a few hours. So, Mum, United are gonna absolutely destroy Liverpool tomorrow, innit? I think you need to calm down a little bit. Hmm? So, Mum, United are gonna absolutely destroy Liverpool, innit? I think you need to calm down a little bit. <laughs> so, Mum. The greatest football team in the world, at the greatest stadium in the world, are going to absolutely annihilate Liverpool, aren't they? I think you need to calm down a little bit. Why? Because Liverpool are a good team, but United fans are the best in the world. So, one for Liverpool, one for United. How? Because they have apparently the best team? Yes. And United fans, of course, are the best in the world? Yes. So you're saying they're going to cancel each other out? Yes. So you're going for a draw? Can be. Possibly. Yes. And we need to head off to Old Trafford. Good luck. And if they win or draw, subscribe the channel. So people might think I'm a little bit deluded for predicting a United victory. But is that really too far-fetched? I thought we actually played pretty well against Chelsea. We made a couple of stupid mistakes. It was a bit odd that we just left Palmer alone on the edge of the box. But the thing that people were complaining about in that game, the fact that we were so gung-ho and so kamikaze, was not a negative to me at all. And I believe if we are to win today, just like in the FA Cup game a couple of weeks ago, we have to go total, complete, all-out attack, kamikaze, crazy, pressing them all game for the full 90 minutes, just go absolutely bonkers, play with high energy, and there is a real possibility that we could come out with a victory. There's no point just sitting back. The times in which we sat back in that last game in the FA Cup, we conceded a couple of goals, and even last season when we beat Liverpool at Old Trafford, the 2-1 in August of that season, the only time we looked really out of our depth was when we were just sitting back and allowing Liverpool to come onto us again and again. So please, go all out attack today. Don't go for a draw. Let's end. Or at least put a dent in the Scouts' title hopes. By the way, I do know how to drive. I just don't like to drive on match days. Because the roads are absolutely packed. Especially if you get anywhere near Old Trafford. So I got myself packed onto the tram like a sardine, as usual, at Piccadilly Station. Here's a tiny bit of the city centre. And not long after, here we were, walking on the surrounding areas of Old Trafford. And today, just like these fish and chips, we're gonna fully and completely batter Liverpool. And we'll then proceed to destroy and flatten Liverpool in the bin, just like this guy's taking his rubbish out. And here we have the pub that a lot of fans frequent on match day. And if any city fans are watching this is actually what you call a sea of fans we now have a wide array of flags and yes yes roses are red violets are blue and if you dare to make a vlog outside old trafford the police will certainly have their eyes on you here we have the section where the away fans go in of course with the dividers in place for a big game like this the weather was set perfect for the game. And we're finally in Old Trafford. Here's my view for today. And today, unlike a couple of weeks ago, Liverpool only had that little corner section this time. And the Liverpool players, of course, received a frosty reception as they made their way to the changing rooms. <laughs> and the banners were out in full force in the TRA. Trouble on the way! A 
see this. And yes, this stadium truly does look magnificent when it's at full capacity. And if anyone dares to get in this tiny little patch of Old Trafford, just watch yourself. Lord Maguire will be after you. And the linesman, yes, the linesman was also on the receiving end of the wrath of Lord Maguire. And not long after. <laughs> The green start, but unfortunately it was offside. And whilst we were still creating a lot of chances in the first 20 to 25 minutes, Liverpool were slowly starting to take control. And after wave and wave of attacks, United though, were themselves very unlucky not to score here. I think it was Delot with this magnificent tackle. What a save. And I'm now thinking, Onana should be nicknamed as the ice cream man or the dinner lady. And that's not to take the piss by the way, I actually really like Onana. But he has this weird technique of scooping his saves. What a save. Go United. And that was it, half time. United, after a good start, were in a bit of a slump. But not long after the second half started, United were flying like an absolute rocket, and not very long after. The players, everything, the momentum was massively with United. We somehow missed this chance. Liverpool though, were still showing why they're a quality side. There were some nervous moments. <laughs> the fans though, like I said, we're just not gonna let their team lose today. <laughs> we carried on piling forward. <laughs> and then... Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh yeah! Silence from the Ewing end. This is what football is all about. Absolute quality. Liverpool were absolutely reeling. We had chances to go 3 1 up. Just look at what Mystic Meg said at this point. He said if you just sit back and defend, we're going to concede. Just go for it. And not long after, after a defensive substitution, but whatever, I'm, saying, I'm not moaning about the team today, but after a defensive substitution... <laughs> the fans were still attempting to get behind the team. I'd say Bunch of bouncing, Busby base, Jesus United. A magnificent last ditch tackle was made. Yeah. And this was my opinion at this point. So three and a half minutes to go here, we can still create two chances. At least one big chance. One. Now start football ground. Take a lesson, you will see. Football top. And this was it. The, the one big chance that I was talking about. What? 
Though to be fair, it wasn't like a bad miss by Anthony, and I still love Anthony. That was it, full time, after an absolutely chaotic, tremendous game that I will remember for a long time going forward.